What's up guys, KDub175 back with another Pokemon Duel video and we're about to throw down in the grass gym. We're still making the grind. We got the invincible trophy guys. And honestly, right after I got that invincible trophy, I won one more match. So I actually had like a 12 win streak and then I lost three in a row, played the bug bot, obviously won that one, and then I got another loss. Um, so it's like, it's insane. Like you can go on these like long streaks, but then you can honestly just get destroyed after it. So it definitely takes a little bit of luck, some RNG, depending on the opponents that you can get. Cause there's some really good players out there. So I think we played some good opponents, but we didn't get matched up with any of like the top 10 people in the leaderboard. So, um, you know, so we got pretty lucky. So I definitely lost some rank. And I'm going to try to gain it back because I do want to get that top 300 to get the gold trophy because I definitely think you're going to have to get in the top 300 if you want that gold trophy. Um, there's no way that they're going to give you the top. They're going to give you gold for top 3,000 when before it was 1,200 and there's less players. So not going to happen. So I'm going to go with Dartrix. This is definitely risky. He could Typhoon Slash with me. Uh, but they generally don't do that because if he loses, you know, if I hit my double leaf blade, then there's a good shot that I can win. Right, we have the chestnut. I'm going to double chance. Um, don't want to give him any opportunities. And Blaziken has a really good shot of winning here. There we go. Cyclone kick. Get wrecked. Because, you know, running double hurdle jump, I didn't want to give him a chance to hurdle jump onto my entry point and then I have to go defensive or gold block. Um, you know, yeah, I would probably have to go block because I do not, I wouldn't want to let that Brizian come and take my other entry point. So, okay, great. We got a Kimbuskin. We do not want the evolution to come out. Um, maybe I should be running Kimbuskin. I do have Kimbuskin at level nine now. Uh, I definitely want to get Sableye out here, I think, but, uh, I could go, you know, I, I think I'm going to go for something risky guys and double chance. I could X speed, but you know, it, it, I think double chance. As long as he doesn't hit Cyclone Kick, we're good. So please don't hit Cyclone Kick, Combustion. This is really risky. I don't recommend it, but come on, let's just go for it. Oh no! And he gets the Cyclone Kick. Uh, that's a huge Cyclone Kick. So I mean, he had a good shot at hitting it, and we just gave him the evolution that we did not want to give him. Um, but man, it was a risky play, but it was really. It would have been a huge payoff. It would have been a huge payoff. We would have got rid of the Combuskin. Then you would have had to put Verizian on his goal, and then we could have double chanced and just straight up won right away. So I think it was worth it. Uh, losing that didn't put us in any immediate danger of losing the match. So um, I'm going to take Lunala, I think. No, let's put Sceptile on the entry point because then he can't soar over. He can't go into the middle. I mean, he could, but if he roosts or hit his um, flame charge, then we can surround him. Here comes the Trevenant. God, these Trevenant. All right, Nala's a decent matchup. Pretty good matchup, actually, really. Oh, wow. That's ballsy. And there you go. <sighs> I don't know, maybe he was going for the Destiny Bond just to get rid of Lunala. I'm not sure. Uh, let's put the uh, Sableye here. See if we can get Sableye up in between our Blaziken and his Blaziken. Okay, yeah, he moves up. Oh, he's going to attack. Come on. Could go. Uh, that was disappointing. Okay. Um, How do we want to do this? I think... I think we got a double chance here, guys. Because if he does get jet kicks and, and he wins, I mean, we can still cover the goal. We have gold block, but, um, and he gets weight. Okay, come on. We need to hit gold here. Come on, Sableye. Come on, Sableye. Oh, man, that would have normally been okay, but since he evolved, he had four stars. Damn, that sucks. Now, he could attack my uh, Dartrix and go for the Jet Kick win right now. Hopefully, he doesn't go for it. No, he doesn't go for it. Okay, awesome. I would have 100% attacked there. I would have attacked there. He had a really good shot at beating us no matter what. And then, yeah, I think that was a misplay. I would have definitely attacked there. All right, so I hopefully will hit the uh, stealth hit. Come on, Septiles, hit that stealth hit. 
Yeah, there we go. There we go. We get the stealth hit. Not knocking us out yet. All right. Uh, we're definitely not going to take the stealth hit because there's no way we can surround him. And then we'll go ahead and just back him up. Or actually, no. Let's try to force him out of there. Or no, because then he could surround us. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Hopefully we can uh, take the entry point. And then we can surround the uh, the Moltres. Oh, let's see what he does. He, he may backtrack and uh, try to attack. No, he's going to attack the Sceptile again. Okay. Stealth it again. No. That sucks. Okay. Um... Let's see here. Yeah, because he can't get to surround us. So I'm going to go here. He can't surround us just yet. And... What the... Okay, well, we're going to get a free surround on uh, Blaziken. Why would you give me a free surround on the Blaziken? And we knock out the Moltres. Wow, that was clutch. Give me that evolution, Decidueye. Okay, here we're, we're going to do this. We're not going to surround just yet. We're going to take the entry point. Now, I could attack. You know, we got a good shot, but if I don't win, if I lose, then he can bring the Verizian down. Or attack our Verizian. Or, I mean, attack our uh, Sceptile on the, or Verizian on the goal. And then, yeah. So, now I'm going to take this around. I, you know, maybe I should have attacked there. But, um, it was just a little too risky. I, wanted, I didn't want to get knocked out. Because we could have hit, you know, our gold or our grass knot into his Swords of Justice. So... Um, you know, it wasn't like a guaranteed knockout, so. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, no, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. We don't need it just yet, guys. We don't need it just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the Blaziken here. I'm gonna try to hang on to my plates for when I really need him. Okay, he's gonna bring the Trevenant back out. We know how that turned out last time. I'm gonna put the Verizian here, and then now, maybe we can try to go for a, uh, uh a surround at some point. Maybe move up a little bit further. Oh, he's got the manipulative. Okay, he's probably going to move the Decidueye, I would think. Um, no, he moves the Verizian. Okay, it's actually pretty good that we saved the uh, Max Revive. I think now's a good time to Max Revive. Um, I want to Max Revive the Sableye. Then I can wake up the Verizian, and then we can send him back up there. Right, yeah. I'm just going to sit him right here on the entry point. Wake up Verizian. Uh, that's what kind of sucks about that Trevenant, especially when you're running a few grass types because at some point you're going to be defending your goal with the grass types. And then it makes it really, really awkward to attack into the Trevenant, especially if they have Verizian or Decidueye on the entry point. Um, okay, nice. Get that knockout. Get out of here, Trevenant. You're not moving our dudes around, putting us to sleep. Okay. Let's go right here into the middle. Now, now we're within range that we can get a surround set up or possibly Typhoon Slash. I would take Chestnut. Yeah. Take Chestnut, move back. Okay, I'm going to move up the Blaziken because it's probably the best matchup for Moltres and Heatran. He's probably going to bring out Moltres and then he can keep, yeah, keep Heatran to clear his entry points out. All right, I'm going to move up here with the. Now, he could soar over, but. Um, yeah, maybe I should have stayed one step back. I don't know. Okay, he's going to attack. Um, I'm thinking maybe go for the uh, chestnut. Neck. Nice! Oh, that was really lucky. Oh, man, that, that was pretty lucky, guys. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to move here with the Sableye. Just try to figure... I, I think I should attack the chestnut with the uh, Blaziken. And really, our only bad matchup is Jet Kick into his white. Okay, so he's going to X attack. All right. Is he going to... Yeah, he's going to soar over. Okay, so we want to hit Moongeist because... Man, X attack. Oh, no, he gets it. See, even with the Sableye, too, we would have got the knockout. All right, I'm going to take the entry point. He can advance. That's okay. We got Sableye, and we have Verizian for cover. <sighs> um... Yeah, let's go with the Sableye. We have a good shot of, you know, stalling this out to where he can't knock us out. Now, he could move up and attack with Moltres. We still have Gold Block. We still have the Gold Block, so if he gets lucky, 
Okay, come on, Sableye. Hit your Confuse Ray, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, no. Okay, so now we're going to have the gold block. I don't want to give up the entry points. This may be really greedy. I should probably gold block the Blaziken, but I'm not. I'm going to just hope that Verizian hits his Typhoon Slash, and then we can back him up really nicely. So, I mean, he has a really good shot of hitting his 80 into our swords. Uh, he could hit Flame Charge. He could hit Roost. So I just have to hope. I got to pray to Orange Jesus that we can hang on for one roll. Okay, he's going to double chance, so we need to hit Typhoon Slash. Typhoon Slash. And we, we could also hit Grass Knight into his 130. Oh, they're beautiful. And he can't even get the Flame Charge off on us. Beautiful. Okay, good job, Verizian. You did well, buddy. You did well. Now we have backup with Sceptile. So, now the question is... Okay, yeah, I was, I was going to say, if he attacks into us and we get the Typhoon Slash, that would be so good. Um, okay, I'm going to do something a little bit risky, I think, guys. Um, no, I'm just going to move... No, I'm going to move here. I think I'm going to keep Sceptile back on the goal. I was thinking about moving Sceptile out, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave Sceptile on the goal. Let's see. It depends what happens here. Okay. Bruce. So good. So good. Okay. We're getting, we're getting pretty lucky rolls here. All right. Now I'm going to move up with the Sceptile now because he does have, um, weight. So now I can swing the Sceptile over and kind of block him off. There we go. So now our Decidueye needs to hang on. We could hit Grass Knot into his, uh, uh, 130. Oh, he's going to X attack. Oh, in case he hits the Steel Wing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Crushing Flames just crushed us. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move up here. I'm going to attack. Try to get a Stealth hit off. Ah, that couldn't have went any worse for us. Uh, so he's probably going to advance back down. Yep. Okay. Um, Lunala's really good matchup. Now, we're just gonna go neutral, because we don't have the Sableye out, but that's fine. He's gonna have a really tough time knocking us out. Really tough time knocking out the Lunala. Okay. Um. Ooh, I... Not if Lunala gets burned. Um, no, because... No, okay, so it doesn't matter if they're touching. I can put Lunala on the goal, then if he flame charges, if he, if he uses that... On Verizian, we're not going to get burned because it only goes in a straight line, right? Yeah. Awesome. That's really good. It's really good. Yeah, if I would have put Verizian on the goal, he could have came down and burned both of us. So I'm just going to move out. If we can get a jet kick, this is the win, guys. Come on. Ah, spiky shield. Whew, that, I, like, people forget about that a lot, you know? They just sit there and guard their goal off. But with Blaziken, man, if you got a heavy purple on your wheel, he, you know... You definitely don't want to do that. So now he can set up a surround on our Blaziken. But for some reason, he doesn't take it. Okay. So now we can put the Sableye out here. Our Lunala will be able to uh, beat the Moltres now, which is really good. Um, yeah, I, don't, I would have moved the Moltres over. And then he was guaranteed a surround. So. Okay. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we can take the surround and then, or we can take the Typhoon Slash and then surround with the uh, Sableye. Awesome. Okay. Um, hopefully our Blaziken doesn't get knocked out because I, I do kind of want to go for a uh, Jet Kick win if we can get it. Uh, low battery. It's not good. Okay. Ah. Uh, feels bad. I don't know. I mean, I felt like we had a good shot. It's kind of like it could go either way whenever two Blazikins are battling. Okay, I'm going to go here and just attack. Hopefully we can get something positive. Ah, uh, nope. But he is going to have weight, so that's fine. And, you know, we're cycling out Pokemon, so it's not a huge deal. It's not a huge deal. Okay, um... Yeah, let's put the Sceptile here. And then if he wants to move up in advance, I mean, we could hit the Stealth hit. Um, we can definitely get a Surround if we don't get knocked out. Uh, but he hits the Destiny Bond. Man. We're just, like, cycling Pokemon like crazy right now. Um, okay, I'm going to put the Sableye right here on attack. Try to get a Knockout Gold in the purple. Okay. 
that's okay. That's fine. That is really good, actually. Um, you know, really the only bad matchup is, is if he uh, hits his Cyclone Kick, it goes into his Jet Kick, and we have a lot of purple, so... But I'm going to put Blazik in here. Hopefully we don't get burned. But, you know, burn isn't horrible for Blaziken because if he hits Jet Kick, most of the time he's going to get knocked out anyway. So, um, it's, you know, miss there. Ah, uh, and he gets the roll. Damn it. Okay, now he gets to... What's he going to do? Okay, so he's going to move right next to Lanala. Okay, um, let's just move up and attack, guys. Let's move up and attack. The magma sliding magma slider. I swear, dude. Like, I even leveled up the iron head on my Heatran. Because, I, you know, I felt like the magma slide was already pretty big. And, like, he still hits magma slide all the time. Okay, so he's going to take the entry point. Yeah, you can't get too lucky, Blaziken. You can't get too lucky. You know, if you hit the Flare Blitz, that's going to be a miss. Jet Kick's a miss. Okay, so hopefully we hit Cyclone Kick here. Nice! There we go. Finally! Now we can bring out the Decidueye. Try to knock this Blaziken out, too. Come on. Ah! Lucky, man. So lucky. That would have been really good, man. You can definitely get some good double kills in this in this gym, especially running with the Decidueye. Um... What's he gonna do? He could no. He, oh, wow, wow. You know what? I don't know. Okay, he's gonna roost. Okay, first. Let me let me go right here. And then I could back up with the. Uh, then I could back up with the Blaziken and get us around. But yeah, that is Sidui, man. He can. Okay, so don't get lucky. Do not let him get lucky. Whew, Okay. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say, man, I would have been very, very upset. Okay, I'm going to move up here, because, you know what? Like, Moltres can't knock Lunal out, so... And it's not a grass type. So, hopefully we can knock out this, uh... Oh, no. <sighs> okay. Yeah, Moltres is going to have a really tough time knocking out Lunala. Okay, I'm going to bring out the Sceptile here. See what the, see what old Tay wants to do here. Okay, come on, Sceptile. Do me proud, buddy. Do me proud. That's not doing me proud, man. And that was so close to a miss. That was so close to a miss. All right, I got to back up with the Decidueye. He's probably going to move down, take the entry point. And then I'm going to have to go defensive with the Decidueye. Yeah, because I definitely do not want to let him set up a surround. Now the question is, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Because he can knock us out with that Trevenant. He can definitely knock us out. If he hits his purple into our white, he can put us to sleep. This could be bad, guys. This could be bad. Oh, but we get the favorable roll. Let's go. Good job, Decidueye. Whew, that was close. Okay, we're going to move out this uh, Sableye. Move up. Really good matchup for like kind of walling off Heatran. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move here with the Decidueye. Now I don't mind leaving the. I don't want to let this Heatran get any closer. I don't mind leaving Moltres. He's out of X attacks. Yeah, we're gonna have to hit a miss. We're gonna have to hit a miss. Beautiful. We will definitely take. Oh, you know what? No. Do Do we have to take the knockout? Can I just end turn? Ah, uh, no. You gotta take it. Oh man, that that'd be nice if you didn't have to take it. Um, the only bad situation with Moltres is if he hit his flame charge, and then he was able to get the burn off, then he could beat us, but, you know, that, that would take a lot of good RNG <laughs> from to get there, so let's go ahead, we can get a double KO here if we hit gold in the purple, uh, it's fine though, we still get the knockout, that spirit shackle comes in clutch, okay, alright, and... <sighs> Man, 36 seconds, guys. 36 seconds. I'm definitely low on time. I don't know why I always play so dang slow. Okay, we got to go for it, guys. We got to go for it. I'm going to go on this side here, and hopefully, because he can't take this around. So then what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to move in. Oh, okay, so he's going to block us off. Okay, Um. so actually, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. We got to knock out this Heatran. 
Ah, oh, I'm waiting to miss. Oh. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't think there's there's no way we can really come back on time. Okay, I'm going to move up with the save lot. I think that was actually pretty nice of him to allow me to advance. I would have probably moved up with the... Uh, but he's probably, you know, just going full defensive. Okay, another freaking Destiny Bond. It's all right. Recycling Pokemon out. There's nothing worse than losing the time, guys. Nothing worse than losing the time. So I, uh, You know, we got to play really fast here. I don't know how I can go so long without even looking at the time. Like, I don't even think about it half the time. <laughs> um, okay. All right, move up with the Blaziken here. He's, you know, he can soar over all he wants. Yeah, he's not going to, though. Okay. We gotta go for it, guys. We gotta go for the Heatran. Yes! Okay, yes, finally. I was like, come on, do not magma slide me again. Whew. Now, if he moves over with Verizian, then we can get a jet kick for the win. I don't know if he will, though. Yeah, he's thinking about it. We're catching up on time, though. Hopefully, you know, just keep thinking, Tay. Take your time, buddy. Just take your time. You don't want to make any rash decisions. Okay, I'm going to move up with the Sceptile first. And turn. Oh. And he's got double the time. Okay, he's going to bounce back in. Okay, I'm going to move up with Lunala first. Maybe I should go in and attack the... Uh, attack Verizian. Let's see him jumping back and forth. Okay, he's going to attack. Hopefully we hit Stealth Hit. Hit the double leap blade. There we go. There we go. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. I'm going to move up with Lunala. Okay, so now we got backup for Sceptile. Because he can only pretty much move over and attack with Blaziken. Now, if he does, we can stealth hit over. No, we can't stealth hit over. What am I talking about? We get knocked out. Oh, he's going to hurdle jump. Wow. Okay. I'm going to attack anyways, dude. Come on, RNG. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. That is GG. Woo! We came in 21 seconds. That was so clutch, guys. So clutch. Nothing he can do. We got three MPs on both his entry point, and Blaziken's right there, so... Good game, Tay. That, that was a really good game, man. Really good game. I got some really lucky rolls here at the end. Um, but we finish off with pretty much the same time, but you had a lot more time than me. I need, I need to start playing faster. I need to do some, like... I wish they had, like, speed trials or something. Something where you have to, like, make a move every five seconds. Definitely need to do some drills. But we got 19 wins. 18-25. Pretty good rank. Um, you know, we still have, like, maybe one more win. One or two more wins to kind of get back up. Yeah, 18-48. So... That was a pretty good match, guys. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the match, definitely. I am going to be getting into another match here, probably, to make it part of the video. 908. Not too... So we're on a nice little streak, guys. Uh, we're on a five streak, so doing pretty good. Increased our rank. Uh, definitely want to keep climbing, though. We are at a peak, so that's a good thing. Um, it's always nice to know that for every win that you get you're actually going to be climbing the leaderboard instead of being in a hole and having to climb out so you know hey we could be on to another uh another streak guys this is how it starts right you get on a five streak and then you got to get past six though right you got to get past six um oh hey i recognize that name from like the discords and stuff i i, I don't know him personally but um him or her but it's definitely a unique name so um hey good luck i, I don't know if they happen to watch the videos or not but i see them in a lot of the discords uh, i don't think anybody else uses that name so uh we are gonna get to go first they have a pretty sizable amount of uh rank so definitely wouldn't mind getting this win guys okay um let's go with the verizian they're probably gonna block us off with the moltres but you know i don't know probably could have um picked something else yeah because we knew moltres was gonna come out Let's just go with Lunala. Lunala is a pretty good matchup for most. Well, the 140 is a problem for us uh, with the Entei. So I would probably bring out Entei, to be honest. Um, but let's just see. Okay, they're going to go with the Phantom. Are they going to attack? No, they're not going to attack. Okay. Well, we need to go defensive with the Sceptile. And then... 
I might just cover goal with Sceptile. No, I'll bring out the Dartrix. Yeah, we'll put the Dartrix. I mean, might as well, right? We want to get more figures out. Okay, they have the long throw. They have the counter attack, so I definitely got to remember the counter attack. Long throw, goal block, counter attack, and then max revive with the tropical. I'm gonna bring out the blaze again. I don't really like having Heatran and Phantom right next to Lunala, because both of them have a really good shot at giving us a status effect, either confused or being burned. I think I'd rather be confused though, to be honest. I think being confused is a little bit better for me because it's pretty much gonna, you know, land into a uh, Will-O-Wisp or I'm gonna land my Moongeist into the Psychic, so. Uh, I'm just gonna move over here with the Verizian. I don't really know if that was a good, a good plan or not. Um, that's an attack. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do here, guys? I think let's just bring out the Sableye. We'll bring out the Sableye. But, I, you know, I couldn't get by the, uh, the Moltres anyway. And I wasn't really certain that I wanted to go in between Lunala and Heatran. So, okay. Let me think here. You know, it's a pretty sizable purple, but I mean, that's a that's a lot of wheel, guys. Let's just go for it. I mean, let's just hope. I mean, it's the magma sliding magma slider, right? It, it's probably gonna land magma slide, but let's just hope, guys. Let's just hope that we can get this typhoon slash. Come on, don't hit the magma slide. Nice. Okay. All right. So anything but swords of justice. We can hit grass knot. We can hit typhoon slash, which is what I want. Oh, we hit the swords of justice twice okay that kind of sucks it's like figures you know the one time each rant doesn't hit his damn magma slide we can't pull off the typhoon slash it's really annoying okay they can't typhoon slash lunala they must know that that's why they didn't attack i could pretty much just attack the lunala but oh man what oh man i got so lucky i did not even mean to attack right there i did not even mean to attack guys i will be honest but Wow, that was really lucky. Really, really lucky. Ugh. It's like you know that you have to unclick the figure when you're going to check another figure. Oh, man. I don't know why I did that. Misplay, guys. Misclick. That was a misclick. Okay. Awesome. Okay. That would have been nice to knock him out, but, you know, we didn't get confused, so that's good. Yep. I, I can't believe we got that knockout on Moltres, because, like, we literally were about to get our Lunala surrounded, so... Whew. That, that could have turned out really bad for us. All right, I'm going to move over here and stop trying to confuse me. <laughs> Come on, hit your miss, Phantom. Don't confuse me. Okay, nice. All right, I will take that. That's that's pretty lucky. Damn, Phantom. Okay. Um, I'm thinking about putting Lunala in between Sableye and... Um, Entei. Uh, I could have, I mean, he's got a decent shot of hitting the 140. Let's just go, we'll just go there. We're going to go right here. We're going to end turn. And then I'm going to move up the Blaziken and then try to uh, get us around. Okay, so yeah, he's going to cover up the coal or she's going to cover up the coal. If anybody knows this person personally, because I've seen him in comments and Discord. Um, I don't know if it's a he or she. Okay, he's going to back up. You know, you don't get the 1964 by letting your uh, Incineroar get surrounded, right? Or by, like, randomly attacking Sableye into uh, Moltres. So, I'm going to double chance, guys. Let's go with this badass Blaziken and try to get a knockout. We have a really good shot of winning this. Okay, Fierce Roar. Let's go for the Jet Kick, guys. Because this move is trash and it's not going to do anything. <laughs> and then we miss. Yeah. But, man, that, that is such a terrible attack. Don't you guys agree? I mean, it can maybe help you out if you're next to a really bad matchup and then you can switch them for a favorable matchup, but the thing, it, it's pretty bad. Okay, guys. All right, I'm going to do something here. Follow me. I'm going to go here with the Sceptile. Now, I know he's going to surround my Blaziken, but I can, yes, he took the bait. All right, boys, let's go for the cheese. We got to get this stealth hit. Please, Sceptile, stealth hit for the win. We sacrificed our freaking Blaziken. Come on. Uh, double Leaf Blade. Okay. Come on, Sceptile. Stealth hit. Or at least Double Leaf Blade. Come on, Stealth hit. Oh, and you hit the quick attack. 
Uh, it was. I think it was worth the risk, guys. It was worth the risk. You know, like sometimes you just gotta go balls deep, you know, and it doesn't always work out. But we do have Verizian to bring him back out. But, but I'm gonna go block with Lunala because, you know. I, I just don't want to risk anything, guys. I don't want to risk anything. I don't want to get Typhoon Slash. So maybe it was a wasted plate, but I think it was okay. So I'm going to go here with the Verizian, and then hopefully we can go up, take the entry point, and then we can try to Typhoon Slash either the Incineroar or the Heatran. But... Yeah, he can pretty much cover goal with the Incineroar. Yeah, and then we're going to take the entry point, and then he's probably going to go defensive with the Heatran. Which I'm okay with. I'm alright. I'm okay with that. I might X speed into Verizian next. Uh, I'm not sure. I have to think here. Oh, okay. No, they're just going to uh, max revive the Phantom. Okay, that's a fair play. Let's go ahead and max revive. Let's do a max revive of our own, guys. We have that plate too. We're going to put the Blaziken back out. We sacrificed him. It was a chance to end the game quickly and swiftly. But Sceptile just couldn't pull it off. <sighs> He's probably going to shove us right next to... Yep. Man, I hate using Max Revive and then immediately getting another figure knocked out. We're going to X-Speed. X-Speed this Dartrix into the Verizian. I would say most of the time this thing evolves whenever I use the X-Speed. Come on. Oh, man, you hit a miss. Yeah, when that thing hits double leaf blade, that, that's why I put some chain levels into him, because, you know, 102 is pretty good. As long as there's not too many Verizians that are, uh, you know, got an insane amount of chain levels, but there are quite a few Verizians out there. Let's attack him with the, uh, oh my god, we are losing every roll, guys. We are just getting crap rolls right now. Uh, I mean, the miss, I mean, that, that, that was, that was a likely outcome, you know, it, we got a pretty good gold. His Sword of Justice is pretty big. But a miss on the Dartrix, come on. I know it's only level 4, but... Jeez. Okay. Um... I think we're just going to... Let's go right here, guys. I'm gonna go right here, try to force him out. Or we're gonna surround him. Yeah. Get out of there, and that's why that's why I gold blocked Lunala because I did not because I had I had a feeling we we're gonna have to move some figures around and do you know I wanted to try to get the evolution on Dartrix, and um you know Lunala cannot be Typhoon Slash so what's gonna happen here Oh my God another miss Are you freaking kidding me Oh my God This is gonna be tough to win and we're down on quite a bit of time too guys as usual I need to really like. Let me know in the comments, do you guys have any tips for, like, drilling yourself to try to get better? Okay, fine. Or at least you get a miss. It's about time. Something pays off. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the Sceptile right here on the corner. Um, he can't block us off without letting us advance. We're either going to advance with the Sceptile or advance with Blaziken. He doesn't have any more max revives. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to sit Verizian, I think... I'm going to move him in over here, because I, I don't really want the Phantom to be able to come in and confuse me, because that that's just not good. Okay. Now, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if... Um, I'm going to take the entry point. I don't know, know like, if uh, Lunala has a status effect. Is it still immune to the Typhoon Slash? Or, you know... the. Because I know whenever it has a status effect, it doesn't have damage anymore. Okay, phew, that's good. Hit that protect. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to move over here. I'm not going to attack. He's probably going to move the Heatran up. Oh, he does. Okay, you know what? No, I, I don't want to let him magma slide the Verizian. I'm going to move back over here. So that, that was probably a misplay. Though... Hmm, this is interesting. Oh my god, another miss. Getting a lot of misses, guys. I guess it's bound to happen. I think it's time to go balls deep. Um, I'm just going to, I think, let's just attack, guys. I think we got a good shot. Come on, Sceptile, redeem yourself. Oh, there it is, buddy. Get worked. Yes. Okay, that was super risky, guys. I'm not going to lie, but 
I had the blaze that came out, so I felt like if we lost that, we could probably free up an entry point. It, it was really risky, guys. It might have been a questionable play, but okay, he's gonna he's gonna go with the phantom. Um, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, Sceptile. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We had the pressure on. We had the pressure on. I'm gonna attack. Okay. Stealth hit. Okay. Um. No. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put the Verizian here. Now we have a really good shot because he can't. He can't really get in position to surround us unless he. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. I. Hmm. <laughs> Now he's hitting some misses. All right, so this could be game, guys. This could be game right here. I don't know how we were so backed into a corner and just a few plays were now threatening game. All right, come on, Septile. Hit that stealth hit, buddy. <laughs> oh, that was so lucky. The roost. Thank you. Thank you, Arn Jesus. And GG, this was a pretty good game. I think we both made a few misplays. We both got some pretty bad rolls, um, but it's pretty even. And we go neutral for the uh, final battle. So we'll take it with the Sceptile. He got us that knockout on Incineroar, and he held his ground against the Moltres. So um, that was a good game. GG, man. It was a fun game. I'm definitely glad to keep our streak going. We're at six, guys. Leave a like. So... We can get past six. I would like to keep this streak going. I would not mind opening another 11 win streak booster. So definitely leave a like because I need some luck. The curse is real. It has been confirmed. We're going to get our EX ingot, which is really good. Want to keep that gold up. Everybody wonders why I have so much gold. It's because like, I get a ton of gold and I never have enough metal or experience to spend it. So we got a ton of gold. But I'm excited to get into another match, guys, and see if we can keep it going. So we dropped a little bit of rank. I think we were like 530-something, so we're about to get kicked out of the 500s into the 600s. So hopefully we can win. Our rank is at an all-time high. We are on the curse, guys. We're on the curse, so please give me some luck. Hopefully we can get past this. Um, oh, okay. Wow. Chewy. Chewy, huh? Huge amount of rank. Team looks pretty scary, guys. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is going to be a hard-fought battle. I can already tell. Because uh, I have a feeling this dude's like top 100, definitely. Top 100 for sure. Okay, he's got the zap, though, so he can block us. Um, but I still kind of like going with Verizian first, though... Yeah, let's, let's just go with Verizian first. Yeah, probably not the best play, I will admit. <laughs> um, but, I'm going to put Lunala here. Lunala is a really good matchup for the rest of his team. You know, Heatran is probably his best counter. I would go with the Heatran. Okay, yep. There comes the Heatran. Okay, so... Um, I could go for the Typhoon Slash on the Heatran. It's pretty risky. Let's get some backup first. Let's get some backup first, and then... Depending what he does, I might go... I double. I might double chance and try to get that Typhoon Slash. Alright, guys, come on. Come on, Typhoon Slash, Verizian, and please don't hit your Magma Slide. Let's hopefully at least get the knockout, guys. Let's get the knockout. Oh, it's the Magma Slide. Okay, Verizian, we have to hit Typhoon Slash. Come on, I don't want to get burned. Oh, no. How many times has that been now, guys? Like, every time I try to go for that play, it just never works out. Never works out. Okay, so he doesn't advance with Zapdos, so I'm kind of happy about that. I will... Okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Blaziken. It's kind of weird that he has Phantom Energy and he only has Trevenant, right? Yeah, Trevenant's the only uh, Ghost type that he has, so 
And he does have the swap spot, so I'm gonna have to watch out for that. Okay, Torterra. I, th I still think Torterra is pretty trash, guys. I'm sorry. Even with, like, Torterra is a pretty cool Pokemon. Like, I like Torterra's design. He's 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 cool for a Grass type, you know. But I don't know. I just don't like him. Okay. I'm gonna go here with the save a lot. So now, like, since we're burned. The Zapdos can pretty much destroy our Verizian, but my thought before was if I could get the Sableye on the field. And if you guys haven't noticed, I'm going for this Heatran with my Sableye. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead. Let's put our Sableye right here. Try to get this knockout. Come on, Sableye. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Yeah. Confusion is good, like going into the purple. Even burning him, like, love Sableye against Heatran. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna double chance this Sableye. I'm gonna try to knock this Verizian out, guys. Try to knock this Verizian out. We have a good shot. Come on, Verizian. Or, or Sableye, not Verizian. Come on, Sableye, hit the gold. Let's go! Ba, ba, ba. Let's get it. All right, that was that was that was pretty awesome. Not gonna lie, that was really really good. Good turn of events here. Okay, um, I'm gonna go right here and attack this Trevenant. Let's see if we can get three three for three, guys. Okay, that's it's good. We didn't hit our gold, so we do get a burn off. That is gonna get rid of his Destiny Bond, so we don't have to worry about getting like suicided. Okay, he's gonna attack. Don't hit the Thunder Crash. Uh, it's a Thunder Crash. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I, okay, I can't go for the Typhoon Slash there. I think what I wanna do, I wanna go ahead and get the Sceptile up here. Let's get the Sceptile in action, guys. Okay, gonna attack the Verizian. If he hits Thunder Crash, we're just gonna get wrecked. There's no, yeah, no hope. <laughs> okay, so that zap those two Thunder Crashes in a row? Like, come on, that's unheard of. All right, I'm gonna move up right here. Um, ooh, actually, don't oh, don't max survive. Don't max survive the Verizian. Oh, it's just crap. I didn't even think about that. The three MP, he can get out and surround us. Um, hopefully, he doesn't. But he is thinking about something pretty hard. Uh, that was a misplay. Hopefully, he doesn't do it. Yeah, he's gonna do it. Damn it. Ah, uh, good play, man. Good play. He saw it. Ah, uh, I didn't. I wasn't even thinking about. It. I was like, oh man. And it's like, yeah, he's got the max revive and Torterra's ability. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna max revive. Let's go ahead and put the Sceptile right here next to our goal, and then we can back up with Lunala and try to avoid getting Typhoon Slash. <laughs> so we had really good positioning and that, that pretty much just threw it away putting septile there that pretty much just threw it away and zapdos is just like a thunder crashing machine um yeah i think lunala's I should probably go defensive with lunala i mean it's a good matchup for zapdos as long as we don't hit purple and like we have our goal surrounded which isn't bad um Okay. I am going to go ahead and... Oh man, if he, if he can take the entry point and attack me no matter where I go, but I'm just going to put Sableye right here. Hopefully, come on. He, he, you don't get three Thunder Crashes in a row without even using, like, Double Chance. Come on, that's just way too lucky. Okay, he's taking the entry point. Come on, Zapdos. Roost. Roost, Zapdos. Oh my god, another Thunder Crash. You guys seen it here first. Chewy, what are you feeding your Zapdos, man? I gotta move up with Blaziken. And, oh man. It's a little risky to attack this Trevenant, too, because then he can move my Sceptile and win the game. So I'm gonna have to cover the goal with Lunala. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's cover the goal up. Damn, three Thunder Crashes in a row. That's that's uh, that's pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. Okay, yeah, he's blocking off the Trevenant, which 
I still don't want, I really don't want to attack because he could still put my Sceptile to sleep. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to double chance Blaziken. I'm going to go back down here and attack this uh, Verizian because it's just way too risky to have him, you know, both my entry points blocked. Okay, there we go, boys. Yeah. Get out of here, Verizian. Okay, so even figures now, four on four. Okay, he's gonna block off the Blaziken. That that that's okay. I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna attack. We we we're not gonna get surrounded just yet. Boom! There we go. Get out of here. No earthquake. Now he does have the Heatran, so and he can block us with um, Trevenant. Okay, so we're just gonna be going round and round. So I'm gonna take this opportunity now to attack the Grovile. Try to get the evolution off. Come on, let's go. Boom! There we go. The swing and throw. Trevenant has zero blue, so we're going to spin him and get our evolution, get a knockout. See you later, Trevenant. And say hello to my little friend. Wait. What the heck is going on? Why, why didn't I get prompted to get my evolution? I got a knockout. Um, wow, that, that really threw me off. Okay. That is... Um, Okay, um, so <laughs> that really sucks. Okay, I'm gonna double chance, or no, I'm, I mean X speed, and try to knock out this Verizian. Hopefully we he, we hit our double leaf blade into his, nice, okay, there we go. You better give me my evolution. Okay, that now we get prompted, so, like, let me know in the comments, guys, like, why would, why didn't I get the evolution? Is it because I, you know, it's something that Trevenant spun, or because I, uh, I originally battled with Grovile? That's really weird. I don't know. I haven't been using Dartrix for that long, so um, he does have like 50 seconds on us. So hopefully he takes his time. Take your time, Chewie. Take your time. Make sure you're gonna make a good play here. Because we can take the entry point now that we have a 3 MP. At least we did finally get the evolution. But that, that doesn't make any sense. Like, I feel like you should get the evolution. Because that's how you get evolutions. By getting knockouts or displacing figures. So, maybe it's something weird that you have to do it with the actual battle opponent. opponent? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, though, guys, if you guys know. <laughs> Okay, come on. Come on, hit that 90 or miss. Ah! Okay, well, he's gonna have four weight. But he is gonna be able to get his Torterra out. I think... Yeah, let's go in for the attack, guys. Let's go in for the attack. We have a good shot at knocking out this Grovile. Oh, and you get lucky and get the dodge. Come on. Man, we, re we really needed that right there. We really needed that. Um... Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and move up Sceptile. I you know, I maybe I could have attacked him again. Maybe I should have attacked him again. I, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move up the Sceptile, block my Blaziken from getting surrounded, and then we can go ahead and attack the Grovile again. Or maybe I don't know, let's see what he does. Okay, he's gonna attack. Oh, the Destiny Bond. I hate that Destiny Bond. So annoying. All right. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and move up Verizian. Like, I kind of want to have some backup here. I probably should just attack, but... Uh, let's go ahead and attack. Hopefully we get a knockout. Oh my god, the jet kick. The jet kick. Are you serious? Blaziken, you suck. Now we're going to... Oh man, a Sceptile with a hundred... 150, possibly 150 leap blade. Okay, now he's got some good backup. Uh, let's just go ahead, take the entry point. He does have some time on us, so I want to try to play as quickly as I can, but I don't want to make any misplays. All right, I'm going to move up with the Sep or, uh, Sableye. I don't know, guys. Maybe I should have attacked when I had the chance. Like, I wanted to just get more figures up there. Uh, let's go ahead and move up with the Sableye. Hopefully we can confuse the Torterra. 
but our um, our Lunala should be just fine down there by itself. I'm gonna come in, jump in, try to get this Heatran out of here. <laughs> come on, we need to roll here. All right, he's got about 20 seconds on us. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Um, crap. I don't know. Let's go ahead. Yeah, let's just back up Lunala. Because I, I don't want to get surrounded. This has been a really tough battle. Like, oh, okay, come on. Just a single Leaf Blade. Do not get lucky. Oh my god, no! Why? Alright, now we have the Gold Block. Lucky, we still have the Gold Block, guys. So I'm gonna Gold Block. Verizian. We can Typhoon Slash and knock out that Sceptile. Uh, that Sceptile is really scary right now. I, I do not like that Sceptile being there. Okay. Uh, this is a tough one, guys. I think... We can go ahead and move our Sceptile up here and just hope, hope that our Verizian can hit the Typhoon Slash into the Leaf Blade. Okay. Oh, Sableye coming in clutch. Let's go, guys. Whew, thank God we did not hit Typhoon Slash there because that would have probably been game. Come on. Let's get a double Leaf Blade. Knock out this Torterra. Come on. Let's go. Oh, Sceptile. Sceptile, my dude, man, we needed a double leaf blade there. That would have pretty much been game. I, I have a feeling that would have been the match. Okay, I'm gonna move the Decidueye. Oh, crap! No, now he can Typhoon Slashes. Don't go for it. Do not go for it. Okay, Verizian, please hit the Typhoon Slash. Oh, man, I just misplayed so hard. <gasps> Woo! There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, I gotta back up. I gotta back up, guys. Woo, I, like... Oh, man. See, when you're trying to play quick and you just... Yeah, get out of here. Okay, so we're lucky that we did not lose that one. Let's get Blaziken up there. If we can get Blaziken up there, knock out that Torterra. Okay, oh, this is risky, guys. But we can go neutral if we hit our Swords of Justice. So let's just hope we hit Swords of Justice. Zapdos could roost like... We have a decent shot. We have a decent shot at surviving here. <laughs> oh, wow. That was lucky. Okay, come on. We need this roll here, guys. We need this roll. Torterra, let's knock him out. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. This could be game, guys. This could be game. Yep. Okay. Now we have to attack. Come on. This could be game, guys. This could be game. Oh, you get so lucky, man. The grass not into the flare blitz. I don't even I don't even have words. I do not have words right now, guys. And he's not even going to take this around. He don't even care about that sable eye there. Um All right, just take the entry point. Okay, a minute and 7 seconds. He's got a minute and 36 seconds. I don't know why I play so slow. Why do I play so damn slow? All right, we're gonna try to play as fast as we can. Hopefully, hopefully he's gonna take some time, but he's moving pretty quickly. All right, let's get that Lunala up here. We have a really good shot. If we can sneak, oh no, the damn Trevenant. Cause if he hits the manipulative man, he can just move my Verizian and that's game. All right, I gotta come in from this angle. Get this, uh, get this Heatran out of here. Okay, Confuse Ray, that's really good. That is really good. I wonder if he's going to back up and surround me. If he does, then I can attack the Trevenant. Nope, he's not going to. Okay, Typhoon Slash on the Leaf Blade. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay, let's take it. Let's take it. Now, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take the entry point. And now we can attack this Trevenant. Um. Yeah, let's 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 go for the Trevenant. I was thinking about the Zapdos, but let's try to get this Trevenant out. Ah, oh, see, and he hits the manipulative. See, that would have been game if his Sceptile was still down there in the corner. So, thank God we got that knockout. He's probably gonna move our Verizian. 
Yeah, put me on the goal. <laughs> put me on the goal. No. Okay. So, I, I definitely... I, yeah, I need to wake him up with the Sableye. And then... He can't surround our Lunala. So, let's, let's wake up Verizian. And then we can surround our goal again. Okay, yeah. We, we definitely saw that coming. All right, come on. Verizian right next to the goal again. Oh, man. But no, I can't attack the Trevenant. This is super annoying, guys. This is so damn annoying. And he's got the, like, iron defense right now. Holy crap. Oh, that's the problem with having the damn grass types guarding your goal. Maybe I should have left Lunala down there. But no, Lunala's a grass type now anyway, so... <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. I don't even know what to do here, guys. I, I honestly do not know what to do here. Oh, man. He's got time on us. He can just sit there and go back and forth all he wants. Let's just try to get this Heatran out of here. It's confused, so we have a good shot of winning. Okay. Oh, man. I don't know, guys. I do not want to lose this one. This is going to be... This would be so much rank. And... I'm just going to move back with Lunala. Like, maybe try to bait him out to do something. Okay. All right. So I'm going to move on the other side of him now. And turn. Now he can move through us too. So, all right. Yeah, he's just going to move back. Okay, I'm just going to move over one. Let's see what he does. I want to try to attack the Zapdos. Okay, he's going to pop out the Zapdos. All right. Let's try to knock the Zapdos out. If we can knock the Zapdos out. Oh, and he gets the Thunder Charge. Um, now he can just paralyze us. And our Lunala is going to be pretty much useless now. Ah, oh, this feels bad. Yeah. That sucks. All right, let's just try to knock this Heatran out. And then we can try to... Oh, and then he can just jump back in with the Zapdos. Uh, another miss... I definitely need to try to get that Sableye up to level 10 and get that Will-O-Wisp a lot smaller. Okay, he plays the Tropical Energy. Let's go ahead and just attack this Heatran again. Come on, we're bound to get this knockout eventually, right guys? All right, there we go. All right, we get the knockout. Oh, too bad that Zapdos isn't dead because then we'd pretty much be threatening the game. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put Lunala on the entry point. And what did, what's he going to... Okay, alright. I'm going to move on the other side of him and attack. Hopefully we can confuse the Torterra. If we get knocked out, it's not the biggest deal. Okay, we do get knocked out. Okay. Whew. That was close, guys. That was close. Do not want to hit a miss and lose the game. 27 seconds, he's down to 50 seconds. Oh man, this is going to go to time, guys. I have a feeling this is going to go to time. I'm going to move up the Sceptile. Hopefully I can get my Sceptile in there and destroy that freaking Zapdos. Because we need to surround the Trevenant. It's just way too risky. I'm going to move back. Um, oh, he's going to move there. Okay, I'm going to move up, attack this Torterra. So we need to get on the inside of him. Oh, but we can't even get a roll. Come on. I mean, we needed we need a double leaf blade. Or we need the Torterra to miss. Oh, this is bad, guys. 24 seconds left. He's got 22 seconds on us. Come on, let's go, let's go. Blaziken, we need you to be a one-man army, dude. <laughs> you need to be you need to run the show now, man. You just need to sweep through everything. Um, I gotta move up. I'm just gonna attack. I don't even care. If I get knocked out, surrounded, whatever. Oh, nope. Jet kick. These rolls are horrible, guys. Rolls are horrible right now. And his Verizian just sitting there like a damn freaking vulture waiting, waiting for one of our Pokemon to hit a miss on that earthquake so he can just take the goal. Alright, he moves up. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. End turn. Alright. It's like we're kind of catching up on time a little bit. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Move over here and turn. 
Um, no. We lost a little bit of time there. Okay. Uh, let's move the Verizian up. I want, I want to get the Verizian up there. Uh, this could be bad. This could be bad, guys. Okay, he hits the withdrawal. He hits the withdrawal. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I got to take this around, guys. Because he has a really good shot at knocking out our Decidueye. I know it's wasting time. We're down to the final seconds, guys. This match has been insane. This has been insane, guys. All right, I'm going to you know block the gold don't want that verizian to come in because like this dude's just waiting and he's got iron defense but i wanted to get sableye there because sableye is not a grass type and i want to be able to attack this trevenant man that's been screwing up my whole game plan not being able to attack the trevenant okay he knows what we're doing he's going backwards we're going to go up here we're going to take the entry point we're going to attack try to knock the septile out of of course so we're losing every spin. He's winning every spin. He's got more time on us. I just, I don't know how we're going to come back, guys. I mean, I've, I've done, I've won in worse circumstances, I guess. <laughs> or however you want to say it. Okay, blocking us off. Let's go over here. I'm going to just, I don't know. He's probably going to block us off. I don't care. I'm just going to attack. Try to get a knockout, get a stealth hit. I don't know. I have to. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, please, please, please. We take the Typhoon Slash? Come on, take it. Take it. Like, be an idiot like I was on my 11 win. Yeah, take the surround. We have 8 seconds, guys. This is a pretty impossible feat. I'm just going to move over. We lost 2 seconds there. I've come back from with less, guys. I really have. I just got to hope. Hope that I can click fast enough. Six seconds. Man, this has been an insane match. It really has. It's been a long match. Okay, I gotta attack. Cyclone kick. Nice. Okay, we get the knockout. Now he can block us with Verizian. So... I can possibly get the jet kick, though. But I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna move the Decidueye here first. Oh, he's going to jump out and attack. Okay. Hopefully that takes some time off of him. I don't think there's any way we're going to win this by time, guys. Ugh. Okay. Whatever. Cycle him out. I'm going to move up the Decidueye. Okay. He's probably going to move down with Verizian. That's okay. Yeah. We can block our goal off. Come on, come on, come on. We have one second, guys. There's no way I can win this one. I'm not giving up, though. Okay, I gotta knock out this freaking Heatran. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Nice. Okay, we get the knockout. All right, we have one second, guys. I can move in and attack this Zapdos and try to get the knockout. He needs to move back with Verizian. Yeah, he does. Yeah, there's no hope, guys. All right, I'm gonna move in and attack anyway. Come on, knock him out. Let's get the final knockout at least. Nope, jet kick. GG, Chewy, man. That was an insane game. 16 seconds on us. You know, you just... 16 seconds too slow. Nothing feels worse, guys. Nothing feels worse. Time up loss. The 6 curse gets us again. But that was a good match. That, that definitely was. It was really fun. I'm a little salty about playing slow, like salty with myself. Because it's just like, hey man, you got the slower brain, bro. <laughs> but GG, man, that was good. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to pop this 6 win streak booster. Hopefully we can get an EX, guys. It's been so long since I got an EX. Come on, Podu. Give us an EX. Make us feel better about that time-up loss. No, just a gibble. Gumi, Machop. Oh, we got a Fletchender. Which I honestly do not know why that is the uh, gym figure reward. But we're going to jump into another match, guys. And see if we can pull off another win. We've been doing pretty well, though. We've been doing pretty well. Our win ratio is pretty high. Um, I think we're right around like 74%, so definitely pretty happy with that. Man, though, it's just like oh, that last battle, 14 seconds, it's like, come on. All right, we got Mia here, so she's got an interesting deck. Doesn't look that powerful. Snorlax, though, that's a uh, interesting choice. 
I guess if you don't have the Lunala, Snorlax is a pretty good choice to have with a gold block. Um, well, hey, I, I don't know, maybe you had uh, connection issues or something, Mia, but sorry about that. But we will take the free win. Alright guys, we got enough energy to do one more match, so let's jump in. Hopefully we find a uh, decently ranked opponent so we can get some of our rank back. Uh, definitely want to try to get in the top 300. I really don't want to miss out on another trophy, but we'll have no problem getting the 30 wins. Um, win ratio has been pretty high, like I said. Hey, that almost looks like a uh, bot deck, <laughs> but it's definitely not a bot. But looks like a fun deck. Looks like a fun deck. Looks like the person may have already got their... 30 wins and just trying something out definitely a uh, strong rush deck so and they get to go first too so all right switch concentrated fertilizer gold block soft spot okay probably gonna be going yep with the pump kaboo or i mean the phantom uh, phantom pump kaboo i'm gonna go with the dart tricks and then we're gonna surround the other side of our gold just like normal um, but yeah, we're up to 23 wins, so only need 7 more wins. We still have a whole nother day. Uh, well, depending on when you guys watch this, since I'm pretty slow at getting <laughs> the, uh, my videos uploaded, who knows, the gym may be over at this point. Okay, yep. I'm gonna take the entry point. Now we can surround the other side of the goal. I figured, why not get a Pokemon out? I mean, if he's gonna go defensive... I might as well just get uh, Blaziken in uh, in a good spot to advance. Okay, so we want to get something else out. I think Sableye is a pretty good choice because we do have the gold. Though Virizion can go up there and try to get a Typhoon Slash, so that's why I chose the Virizion. Okay, he's gonna take the entry point. Okay, um, let me see what he wants. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's just go up. I was thinking about maybe attacking that Dartrix, but he does have the goal block anyway. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's move up because we can get a jet kick win here. Uh, if the Dartrix hits purple, which, you know, he's got more white than purple. Okay. I'm going to double chance the Blaziken on the Dartrix. Normally, I would try to clear up the uh, entry point, but this is just too good, guys. Too good. Let's go for the cheese. Come on. Jet kick into the swinging throw. Okay. Hits the leaf blade, so we'll take the cyclone kick. We cannot beat that with the jet kick. So what's... Uh, I mean, he can move the Trevenant onto the, uh, onto the goal. I mean, I don't know, I kind of want to attack, but he could move, um, he could move, he could move our, uh, Sceptile, or Dartrix, so, what the, <laughs> okay, let's go for it again, boys, let's get another double chance, I'm really glad that he did that, really glad that he did that, come on, let's go, let's get a, let's get an easy cheese win, come on, let's go, oh, he gets a miss, I'm, I'm going for it. I mean, right? Cause yeah, let's let's just do it. Come on. <laughs> let's go boys. Let's go. We get the jet kick win. Come on, Blaziken. Let's take that goal. Boom. Easy peasy. Now that's easy peasy cheesy. <laughs> Actually, that was pretty cheesy too, but that was a pretty sweet win, guys. 24 wins. We're up to 1925, so we're getting up there. Like, I think we're going to have to be in, like, the 2000s, which, like I said, I have, like, about an, uh, another day's worth to be able to play the gym. There's our EX uh, medal. So, pretty happy with uh, that quick win after playing some really long matches. It's, it's pretty nice to get a really quick win, so... 
Yeah, we're 476, so we're probably going to have to get in the 2000s if we want to get in the top 300 for that trophy. Uh, but we are out of energy. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. That's going to be it for this one. Uh, I, you know, we had some pretty insane battles, so leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. It'll be up pretty soon. I still have some battles to do. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Tag me in some screenshots. I want to see some crazy wins. If you don't have Twitter, leave a comment below. And until the next one, later, guys.